Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to look at how to add links to PDFs with Python. So here you can see that I have my pointer and then when I move it over the doc one page one, we can click it and it'll go to where we wanted it to link doc to page four. Here in our folder, we have our PDF file and our Python script. Let's open our Python script with Visual Studio Code. You can use whatever text editor you prefer. So I've linked to two resources. The first one is the documentation for pdf.writer. This is where you can find more information about the add link method. And I've also included a link to PDF documentation. These links will be in the description below as well. To get started, we're going to want to import PDF file writer and PDF file reader from PyPDF2. And then we'll create a writer object. We'll call that PDF writer is equal to a PDF file writer. Notice the capital lettering here. And then we're going to create a reader object. PDF underscore reader is equal to PDF file reader. And then we're going to open the append all PDF and read in binary. So this append all PDF, that was the one that was in our folder. And then what we're going to want to do is add each page in our PDF to the PDF writer. We're going to create a variable that represents the number of pages in our PDF. We can do that by creating the num of pages variable and setting that equal to PDF reader dot get num pages. And then we'll loop through each of those pages. So for page in range num of pages. And then for every page that we loop through, we're going to set that to the current page and then add that current page to the PDF writer. So what we've done so far is for each page in our PDF, we've read it. Now that our PDF is in the writer, we can actually manipulate it a little bit. We can add the links, the fun part. We can do that with the add link method. There are three important arguments here, page num, page destination, and rect. Page num represents the page that the link is on. Page dest is the page destination or where we want to go after we click the page. Rect is the rectangular area that we want our link to be clickable on. So here we're going to use rectangular object. We'll import that from pypdf2.generic. And then we create a list with four numbers. The first number is x1. The second number is y1. Then x2, y2. x1, y1 is the bottom left hand side of the page. We also have two other arguments, border and fit. I couldn't get border working and I believe fit is deprecated. And then we'll create a new PDF with the links we just added. So using the with statement and open, we'll create a PDF called PDF underscore width underscore link. We'll need to import path from OS for this. We'll open that as link underscore PDF and then pass that into the write method of our PDF writer. And this should be PDF underscore writer, not PDF P writer. And we'll save our script and run it. And we'll open the new file we just created. So here we can see the link covers most of the page when the cursor turns to the little hand. If we click on it, it will take us to the ninth page, just as we indicated. So one problem here is the link is the entire page. It can get a little tricky to specify exactly where on the page we want the link to be. But what we can do is print out the dimensions of the page and that can kind of help us figure out exactly where we're going. We can get the dimensions of the page with media box. So we're gonna say x1, y1, and then x2, y2. So x1 is the left-hand side of the page and it goes all the way over to x2. Y1 is the very bottom of the page and it goes all the way up to Y2. If we print these dimensions, it'll give us an idea of where we want to set our links. So if we save our script and run it, we can see that our page width is 612 units wide and 792 units tall. So really we could probably just print X2 and Y2 and get the dimensions. We don't need X1 and Y1 there. Now that we know our specific dimensions, we can have a better idea of where to place our link. So let's move in 20 units from the left of our page. We'll move up about 500 because we want our link pretty close to the top. And we'll go out to about halfway-ish, 300 units. And we'll go almost to the top, 650 units. So these dimensions create the clickable area for our link. So let's save it, run it. You see that permission error there? That's what happens when you have a file open and you try to write to it. It doesn't like it. But I found out if you open 
your PDF with a web browser, it doesn't give you that error. So sometimes that's a little easier. So we'll open this PDF with Chrome. And now the clickable area, instead of being the entire page, just covers the text. So when we hover over the text and click, it'll take us to the linked page.